these slowly tumble in to our breadcrumbs and then we'll let them roll a little bit so that they get covered and with our fork we'll just add some remaining breadcrumbs and bacon to make sure that they get nicely covered and then gently with my fork I'm going to go under and grab a yolk and our oil is at 350 degrees I will slowly lower this in and let it fry.
All right, we have all of our egg yolks fried and we'll move on to our next step. So we're going to make our egg whites. So I have some spices that we're gonna add into our egg. And this is an optional step. You could certainly just use salt and pepper if you would like. We'll give this a stir. And then I'm gonna pour this into our muffin pan, just about halfway. And then we're off to the oven. So we'll let these bake at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. So our egg whites are out of the oven and we have our purple pit potato puree that we're just going to pipe along the top of our cooked egg white. Next we'll take our carrot puree and do the same thing. All right, now that we have all of our puree piped onto our egg whites, we're gonna add our fried egg yolks right here on top. And now we're ready for our next step. So we'll set our sausages here for just a moment. And then we're gonna take our maple syrup and we're gonna add this to our Pyrex dish. Then we'll take our sausage and we're gonna just dip this into our maple syrup to get it nicely coated. All right, now that we have this nicely coated, our griddle's nice and hot, and we're just gonna add it and let it cook on all sides. All right, we have our sausage nicely browned. So I'm just gonna remove it over here onto our cutting board quickly. Then we're gonna take our mixed cheddar and mozzarella, and we're just gonna add this directly to our hot griddle. All right, now that our cheese is getting nicely melted, we're gonna get our sausage, and we're gonna add it right back here on top. And then with our spatula, we're just gonna drape this over our sausage, get it nicely covered and smothered with that melted cheese. We have our cheese nicely melted around our sausages. So I'm gonna carefully remove it from our hot griddle and then we'll make our pancakes. So we're ready to make our pancakes. So I've made a batter that's slightly thinner than a normal pancake batter. You can find the recipe at chefclub.tv and we're just gonna continue this zigzag pattern across the hot plancha. We have lightly greased it. And you wanna let the batter sit on the hot griddle, the plancha, until you start to get these little air bubbles. So we'll carefully remove these from our So we're gonna take our pancake spaghetti and we're gonna just drape it over our cheesy sausages. So we're ready to add our egg cupcakes. Just gonna nestle them right here in the middle of our ring. This one right here in the middle. And then we have some more of our finely chopped maple bacon and some fresh chopped chives. You can find this recipe at chefclub.tv. Some squares into, we're gonna nicely and gently place it into our honey. Nice, hot honey. Now, we're coming back out. And we're gonna place it on this hot plancha. Let that sear and give us a beautiful, beautiful coat. Like that. Twist this and we pick it up carefully, not to break it. Wow, that's beautiful, it's from this way. We have a little bowl with some fruits, nuts, and herbs mixed in there. Look at that, guys. Just go ahead and push it in nice and gently, not to break your cheese apart. It's carefully, still hot, be careful. We're gonna move it over, grab our dough. This is churro dough, and 
we start in the center we work our way out just like this beautiful make sure there's no space in between back from the freezer check that out beautiful let's go ahead and put this down quickly and cover it up just like we did before this way and we continue inside the circle all right guys we are now back from the freezer this is nice just how we want it now we're gonna drop it in this hot oil be very careful y'all as always safety first all right guys this should be nice and golden and the cheese inside perfectly melted so let's go ahead and grab it place it on a rack Ooh, I can hear the crunch already and we're gonna go right here oh wow 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 finish it off a little touch of cinnamon sugar and flaky salt yes sir that's how it goes just like that let that drip dry and in the meantime we take this and we move on all right guys check this out today i'm going to show you how to use pork belly in three different ways super easy super fun to make pork belly lollipops come this way follow me this is two thin strips then we're gonna come like this and just twist and turn beautiful now we have some pearl onions we're gonna go ahead and stick them in here just like that come this way same piece of meat split into fat part meat part now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over grab yourself a nice little rolling pin Take that meaty part and we're going to want the meat inside that way the outside can be full of the skin which is going to be nice and crispy roll like that wow convenient pretty easy right here let me go ahead and put that to the side this one here guys already rolled up all we have to do is make a little space and put yourself a nice little onion in there. Skewer. And we go through. Tough, but we can poke through. Check this baby out. Wow. Now we're not done. Get yourself a little bit of puff pastry. Go around here so that it doesn't slip. And then we give it the swing. Go like this. Make sure it don't fall. Uh, chop into our bourbon glaze. Get that nice and set. Let's flip it. Ooh, that smells so good. A little turn and we're gonna go onto our baking sheet so we can throw them in the oven. Right here, nicely glazed, and we're off to the oven this way. So, as you can see, we have covered this with aluminum to make sure everything is cooked perfectly. Going in here for about an hour, hour 15. All right, so we have our cheesy churros and, of course, pork belly lollipops like you've never seen before. Give it a little extra touch, beautiful. Wish you had these at your fair, didn't you? Some fresh herbs, boom, just like that. A little flaky salt, and check this out hot so be careful but it's how we want it
homemade bechamel. And this is our homemade pizza dough. I'm gonna start folding in, pushing out, folding in, pushing out, and just continue this process. Go back around, press the crust into the bottom of it. We're gonna squeeze and make little divots. Take your pair of scissors, get them straight down, and we're gonna cut one on the outside, one on the inside. Outside and finished. From here, just gonna open it up because you wanna see that wonderful cheddar bechamel. Now I have my tomato sauce. We're just gonna spread this out. You don't want too much. Go to the corners. And of course you gotta add some mozzarella. Add a little Parmesan. So now it's on to the next step. I have some pepperoni here. Take a cookie cutter, push down into the pepperoni. And we're just gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna take my next little stack of pepperonis. I'm gonna go around it and just press down. I'm gonna do this three times. I'm gonna take some shredded pieces of our pepperoni. Now I'm gonna take a little baby bell. Place that right in the center. And then I got two that I cut already. I'm gonna place that here. Looks like get a little flower party. It's time to put everything together. We got our pizza on our pizza stone. Our grill is hot. We're gonna put that right on top. Now it's time to close and cook. All right, so let's see this thing. Wow, does that not look absolutely incredible? Adding that little bit of greenery. And as always, I like to say, if you don't try it, it's probably not good. This in half into two rows. And we're gonna roll these up into tight spirals on one side. And then we'll go down the other. Right. So you'll see we have this cool spiral floral shape. Then with my onion, I'm gonna take a melon scooper and you could also use a paring knife or something similar. We just wanna remove the center and we're gonna reserve the pieces of onion that we're taking out. All right, that should be good. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of milk to the center of the onion as well. And then we're gonna place our cheesy bacon roll and then I'm gonna transfer this to our baking sheet with some other onions we've prepared. Our oven is ready and hot. And we'll add those for about 30 to 35 minutes. So we have this hardened block of tater tot mixture and I'm gonna just insert some bamboo skewers through the center like so. And then with a large knife, I'm gonna come through and cut down these pieces. And then our oil is already hot and ready. So I'm gonna transfer them over to our hot oil so that we can get them nicely crisp and golden. I'm gonna re remove them to this wire rack to drain some of the oil and we'll move on. So we've got our cheese melted in our onions and I'm just gonna add a cooked hamburger right on top of each. Now we've got our buns nice and dressed, some 
lettuce and tomato. So I'm just gonna take this, turn it upside down, and let the cheesy goodness flow. We'll save these onions for another use. And we'll just repeat this process with our remaining onions. We're gonna add some tater tots around our plate, just like so. Spread those out. And then we have some melted cheese that we're gonna add to our onions, drizzle over our tater tot skewers. The onions that we have scooped out of the center, we're gonna add just to the top here. They're nicely fried, crisp and golden. We've got some more chopped bacon that I'm gonna sprinkle over everything. And some fresh chopped chives to top it off with a little color. So we'll place that last top bun on, dip one of our taters. And some fire. There you go. All right, when we're good and ready, we're going to cover it up. Just up a second dish. Let that smoke get all in that butter. And take these two beautiful pieces of T-bone steak and get to cooking. All right, guys, let's get down to business. We take our beautiful, beautiful T-bone. And don't get scared, but we are simply going to carefully remove our sirloin part nice and cleanly. We're going to save it for tomorrow's recipe, which you can find at chefclub.tv. A little pepper. And we're going to come with this piece of aluminum that we previously folded. Grab ourselves two toothpicks. Poke it right in there. This is going to help us with the bottom part. Make sure it is nice and tight. Go ahead and grab the steak. And we're gonna melt this fat cap first so that we can use the same fat to cook our steak. Go ahead and lay that down. Make sure this stays in there. And grab some shredded cheese. There go. Press that down, help it go a little faster. All right. Now check this out. This was in the oven for a nice hour, every 15 minutes. Gave it a little stir, mix it up. Go ahead and cut it into parts. Come back with my two spoons and grab some of this nice cheesy macaroni. I'm gonna come and place it inside. Where we made some space. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is grab a little more shredded cheddar. Go ahead and press that down so all the cheese doesn't escape. Add some more cheese. And remember this butter that we did earlier? Nice smoky butter. Go ahead and baste that baby. One more. And now we just give it about two and a half. All right, guys, now it's about time. Give this baby a flip carefully, slowly. Put it on its side and flip. And now we just wait for the other side to melt. In the meantime, we're going to keep on basting this baby. There's a beautiful smoky butter on there. All right, let's get this under there. Carefully, beautiful. Now what we're gonna do here, 
take this, bring it on right there. Move these toothpicks to reveal the beauty inside. And go ahead and take that off. Sturdy little toothpick. Beautiful. Now, some nice fries that we have here. Be generous with these fries. Get your little ketchup, little barbecue sauce. Top this macaroni with a little parsley. Now let's take a look at this. Give us a little space here. And look at this beauty. Now, get myself a little piece here. 